And finally, we hit the third type of collision, energy-wise. We talk about elastic and inelastic. There's a special type of what we call completely inelastic. So you might be tempted to think that completely inelastic means you end up with no energy whatsoever. But in most cases, that is not actually possible. What it is, is this is going to give you the minimum kinetic energy. And you can prove that that happens when the two bodies end up sticking together. So that's what we mean by completely inelastic. Which is nice because what it tells us is that the two body will move at the same speed. Let's see how that works. Time one. So here we have garbage truck rolling along with VT1 over there at 25 meters per second. Quite fast. Crashing into a garbage can, so that's a truck. There's a can, VC1, which was stationary to begin with. Then at time two, the truck crashes into the can, but then they get stuck together, adheres is the fancy word for being stuck in this case. And so they must travel at the exact same speed or even velocity. We once again write our momentum impulse equation, which some can say the conservation momentum equation. And again, we have no external forces because we are including both the truck and the can as part of our system. So there's no external force, which is going to give us a big fat zero. The rest is fairly straightforward now. We have the truck and the can. All vectors, of course, not that it really matters. Everything happens in that, in that direction forward anyways. And then we have the same thing for time two. Of course, this you can factor out the speed because they're the same. And this is zero over there. So we're asked to solve for V2, all we have to do Soft V2 by isolating it. So we have a fairly heavy truck, fairly fast. And then afterwards, there's not just the one thing moving, but both things are moving, so it's a bit heavier. And that gets us 24.8 meters per second. So the truck slows down just a little bit because the garbage can is way, way, way lighter than the truck is. And it still goes in the same direction, so we're going to call it positive. So there's an example of a completely inelastic collision where things get stuck together.